Alrighty, welcome back. It's just as hot today as it was yesterday, and I'm going to try to finish, not, well, finish, I guess, is complete the fabrication on the hinges, what I'm gonna try to do. Um, as you can tell, we've put the hood on. I did a little bit of grinding yesterday. It was so hot. Did a little bit of grinding yesterday, trying to get that hood ground off. Uh, I managed to get a little bit more ground off here. And it was just to change the pace and to maybe today or later on today, I'll grind some of this off. And you know, It's work that has to be done. It's not work I wanna show, but it's work that has to be done. And every little bit of grinding I do like that in the edge of the hood, getting that done helps out. I like, I like to stand back and take a look at it. It was nice to put the hood on yesterday just to kind of see what it looks like completed. I like this side over here because we have the hinges on. And basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to mimic the hinges on this side and put them on the other side. Uh, now that I recall, this side I did a little different, which I could have done the exact same thing to the other side. This side I had the door off, put the hinges on, clamped them, and then, and then welded them on. On the other side I tacked the door on in place and then tried to put the hinges on. I think it would have been easier with the door off and then put the hinges either either or but I did it two different ways and that just tells you there's more than one way to skin a cat every time I do something doesn't mean it's the right way it's just the way that I'm trying to get it done as quick as possible but now that I have this side looking good it's looking really good eh? I, to me it is I think it is uh, I can't wait until <clears throat> somebody says wow I really like that I think I'll make one I can't wait till they actually get into it um, it's a long old process. There's a lot of a lot of metal that we've put on this. There's a lot of welding we put on this, and there's just as much grinding and, and more that we put on this. Uh, but it's coming. It's it's getting closer and closer all the time. It's hard to keep motivated. Yes, it is. It's hard to keep motivated, especially with the heat. But today's Saturday, and I'm also get something done. Uh, putting the hood on helped me a little bit. I got the edge of the hood all ground around this edge. That looks nice now. Um, I like when you weld to square tubing or round tubing because you can grind it off nice. I still got the center of the hood to grind. Um, I made a big mistake. I should have ground the roof before I put this on top. I should have ground the roof. I should have had that finished. And I did not. And that's, and that's something that I, I look back at hindsight and said, wow, I wish I would have done that. But right now is what I want to do. Uh, let's, get it, let's get her on. Let's get it on so I can get on with it. What I have to do or what I want to do is I want to make these pieces right here that come back like this uh, yeah I just want to make them come back exactly like this and I'm going to use Aiden's pattern to basically give me the shape he's got a pretty good pattern going on there and that'll basically give me the shape that I want there I'll just use that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did last time I'm going to cut some pieces somewhat the length this is what I'm using I'm using 1 8 plate, 1 8 by 2 inch. That's what I'm using. So that should be a nice strong hinge. We got uh, 3 16 quarter inch. We got quarter inch for the hinge itself, the arm itself. You can see where I've got it welded in here. That's a quarter, that's quarter inch. No, maybe 3 16 But that's welded in there now, welded on the post. This is 1 8 plate going here. I'm going to weld this down in here. I'm behind this. I'm gonna, this edge is going to be welded to the edge of the door and weld it down here so it makes it tight. When we cap it, then we'll weld that this metal to the, all this and weld it to the trockets or the door itself. And that's what's going to make it secure. That's what's going to make it secure. The farmers are working hard today or the people in the fields are working today. I see them putting out irrigation. They're going for it. So if I feel alone or if I think I'm the only one working on a weekend, sadly mistaken, there's all kinds of people working, all kinds of people working. Just a little drink of Pepsi, get my sugar up, get ready to rock and roll. What I basically am going to do is I'm just going to bend those two shapes, stick them on, and try to make a couple caps for them. And uh, we'll, call it a, we'll call it a day once we do that. Then I get to hang it with my Jolene. Me and Jolene went in town this morning, the 62. The thing worked fantastic, like it always does lately. Works fantastic. I want to thank Fram. Fram helped us out on all the oil changes on it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Alrighty. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get a length, a length that I think that I can bend. I want a little bit longer than I'm going to use. 
I want a little bit longer than I'm going to use. And I'm just going to guess. I'm going to guess. I'm going to throw that out there. Just throw it out there. See what happens. Just nice to have a little bit of length to move your hand, move it with. If I cut it too short, if I cut it short and just go with this length here, it'd be an awful hard bend, would it not? You'd have no leverage, no leverage. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'll bring this over here. This thing works pretty good. See, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off the end there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on there like that. Move it back better. marking that because that's the center of that bend there and I'll pry it up the other way see what happens and if I get it quickly the better it'll be This is all just, you know, freewheeling. It's all freewheeling. Now, yeah, I'm getting very close there. Look, you can see that right from the getting close. Tuck it down a little bit right here and get my mark rib. This is. This is the art of the car right here. This is the art of the car. When I'm allowed, you know, when you're making stuff like this, just the art of the car. I mean, I don't know what else more to say. Uh, it's the fun part of it, I guess. Art of the car. Now I took some away. Now I gotta put it back. I don't know if I'm close at all, but kind of took it all out of shape, did I know it? We're not close yet. I had it close there and then I took it out of shape. We need some more bent right there in the middle. You can mess with it for a while. Yes, you can. But once you get it, some satisfying. <laughs> once you get it, satisfying. Can't lay it on there to see. Feeling good about that. There's where I'm at right now. So I'm feeling good about as I do that. I've got all the metal there. Just got to tuck this down here. And I can do that on the vise. Give that a light little, little tap with a hammer. See what happens. I have a piece of metal here somewhere on the floor that would work perfectly. I got on the, actually on the station in here to hit. I'm 
just putting it on that edge. I marked that line. I want that it, the end tucked down a little bit, and I'm just going to whack it with a hammer. That'll do it, you know. Just had to come up with the... I'm going to go with that. I'm happy with that. So, all I have to do now is make another one. I'm going to leave that right there so I know where it's at. We'll cut this one off. Actually, I want to see how far it goes, this piece. I just want to see what this piece fits this like and see how far it does go. Awesome. You can see right here how it fits. And that's probably where I'm going to weld it on too because I want to get it on the low spot of the hinge. I want to get it on the low spot of the hinge on the other side. I'm just going to take and mark this. Cut it off. Trying to pay attention is what I'm trying to do. Just trying to pay attention. I'm getting closer. Getting closer. You know, get the get the hinges made. Get some more grinding done. Getting closer. This mark here, we haven't got this welded back here yet because the edge of the hood is going to be cut off here. We're going to take and make this piece go to the truck and we're going to cut the edge of the hood off so when we run the chrome, the chrome fits the hood. Just like Joe Putt's picture. <laughs> Congratulations on winning, Joe. I really feel like seeing where, look at that now, would you? Beautiful. There's our hinge. See, we can grind, we weld that on there. Then we can grind that off flat because we got that going on. We might grind a little bit more off, maybe, not sure. But that's basically what's going on right there. We weld that along the back of there. We weld that there. That means that that can't bend when that's welded there, welded up here, and then cap it and weld it all the way around. It's more of a gusset. The whole thing is actually a gusset which makes it very strong. Cool. Let's make another one. I cut that much off, but we'll see. It's just nice to have to hold to bend it. So I've, we'll cut another little stick off. I also, as I cut this off, you think I might waste it, but I won't. In here, with the hinges going into the, the, to the post on the other side, this hinge goes on the front side, this hinge goes on the back side. It goes in there and it's welded there, yes it is, but also what I'm gonna do, where this, where this hinge here goes to the door, I'm gonna take another piece of plate you can see on the other side. I put it in there and I angle it and I give it the same gap as the, as the hinge you come on this side, sweetheart. You can see I'll, I'll make a gap here where the hinge fits nice, but I'll also cut that and I'll weld it to the cowl of the truck and then I fill that shut, just like on the other side here. You can see on, on this top one here, look, I've taken a piece of 1 8 plate and I've welded it over here. This is where the post's going in on the post. We weld that and then we filled that shut and then we'll have a gap going in here that we're going to have to try to make the same. And that's why I'm, I'm feeling that, you know, cutting them off like that is okay. We'll use them pieces up, no problem at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one, or I could use the, the, the copy itself again. And where did I put that? I think that's what I'll do. I'll just use the paper one and see how close I get to it. Yeah, I can't, I don't know where it's at right this second. I must have put it down. We'll just go with this way. We'll just do it like we were doing before. You see the paper one there anywhere, baby? Um. Thought I might use the paper one again instead of using that. Just because it's easier. Uh, da, 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 da. Just be a second. There it is on the ground. I got it. 
and then we'll see how close we get. Yeah, this is the air of the car. Also, um, what can I say? This part is where creativity has to come because I don't have <laughs> I don't have the hinges that you know just to make it work I don't have them and you can tell by this door I don't um, it might people might say well you should have put a different hinge on you should have done this you should have done that but that door you must realize that this door is out It's out six inches from the truck, so six inches out from the truck to try to swing a door six inches out past when the hinges are only two inch and a half inches long, or yeah, three inches long to come out six inches. It's yeah, it had to had something had to be done there, and there was no hinge that I was going to grab that was going to make that. So basically, it had to be done by fabricating it, by designing it myself because there was no hinge out there for this truck. And I'll tell you why. Because there's no truck out there like this. <laughs> you know, basically. Just trying to make sure the paper fits. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to run it up and down here, not run it up and down, but run it along here and see where it does fit and then what I have to bend. You know, I can get, if I can get this all looking good, then I know I have to bend it there and I have to bend it there. I can bend that apart on the vise, and that's no problem, but to get this little bend going down here, I'm going to have to mark it. You can see I got this all fitting good, got that sort of fitting good there. We can tell that it has to be bent down there, you know, and it has to be bent down there. Hmm. Yeah, save the top one for for the vise. Put this one on here and try to muscle it. Took it out of shape again. We just come back to where we were. Try to bring it back. bad there. Not bad. Let's tap that down on the vise see what we can get. We'll just go up there and tap it on the vise. Now we're tapping on this piece in here. Not on the vise, the bike will fall. Yeah, when you're making pieces like this, you, it's art. Simple as that. That's how I feel. Like it's art. Art was a good friend of mine. He had a fart. He blew the school all apart. Art. That's what I always said, better out than in. Sweating like. Alrighty. We're getting close. We're there. We're all the way there. Just got to bend that down some more. <clears throat> and that's just a matter of getting a big enough hammer, hitting it on an edge, and breaking it. color thinny that's good enough for me 
Mm. No, I can bring it down just a little bit more. Jolene looks amazing today. She's all geared up in her safety gear. Got her safety shoes on, got her safety glasses on. She looks like a different woman. And she's mine, boys. Back off. Back off, boys. She's mine. I think we got this one. So we're just going to take this over here. I'll take the hammer over here now. I got it where I got and cut it off. Ah. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Well, I can do that. And the reason being is why I'm saying that, as you look at this, I kept thinking like I kept thinking, why does this look further ahead than this one when they're the same length? Well, the door is further back there and the door's ahead on this one. So when I made them come up to the edge where I broke, where I bent it, two inch, two inch, this one pulled ahead a little bit because of the door and that one come back a little bit because of the doors angled like this. Um, that's what I was thinking. As I make these both the same, they're obviously not going to hit on the truck the same. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to make one little longer or a little shorter than the other so they come in line together i'm going to make it come down here so they look parallel with each other i'm not going to set one off shorter than the other with the door so i did the exact same thing over here i made them go straight up and down instead of making one shy or not i just weld the plate on the inside on the door then i just bring this past it and weld it to the door just double strength that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm telling myself when i'm doing it and when I'm doing this sort of stuff, I have to ask myself all the time whether I think it's going to be strong enough. And I feel like being welded on the edge of the door, gusseted it from front to back, and capped so that triangle cannot move, is going to be lots. That's what I have to ask myself and talk to myself. Yeah, you're pretty well going to do that to, f to know. There. And I'm going to want them both up and down this. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what we're going to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottom one on first and see if I'm happy with it. And if I'm happy with it, then I'll tack it on. If I'm not happy with it, I'll cut it off and do whatever. But what I'm going to do at the present moment, I've got a couple welds here. I'm going to tack it a couple more times. I can tack, tack in between, make sure it's welded on or put on the truck underneath then I'm going to knock them off a little bit then I'm going to stick them pieces on green reflectors go check them out and we can't put that on there I'm going to put the magnet on there gloves and the only reason being is I know I'm gonna get burnt <laughs> I'll get burnt it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia and a baby mm -hmm. beautiful day here in Nova Scotia beautiful day not as beautiful as you though Jolene baby, Thanks, baby. why does that not What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the air real quick. Nothing would hurt that right now like that. But I like to have the air when I'm doing that sort of stuff to keep the metal cool. I just spotted it there. I find that the door, oh, the air's on. I find that the door pucker or the, it boils back sometimes with that tire on the inside. It, uh, it seems to, I don't know, it pops, I guess, with it pops with the with the tire behind it the metal does when you get it too hot and i find you really have to just be careful and when you're welding that metal 
because it does make it different. It blows back out or blows out or something or other. It does, it does something funny. So I got them tacked on there. I'm just going to knock them off with a flapper wheel so nothing's in the way. You know, it might be hot, but it sure does feel good after you get something done. It does. It feels good that you get something done. Mountain, you know, get the hinges put on, getting closer, put the hood on, make it look good, grind a little bit. Feels good to get something done. That's what I got it looking like so far. Let's stick these bad. Let's stick one of these bad boys on. Are they the same length? Yeah, we're off by a little, a little bit. We'll just cut one a little shorter. That's all. Let's do that right now. Let's make them both the same length, just so we're not. Well, maybe not yet. Let's hold up here a second. Let's put the lengthy one out here. I like that one right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this one on because I like where it's fitting here. I don't want it up front there a lot. I want to weld it right there so I can grind it off flat so you can't see it. And you can tell on the other side. I like how it's fitting here in the back. It's just above the, just past the welds. And that's where we're going. We're going right there. I'm going to knock it on there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on by eye. And this is a, a design feature, feature, a design feature on the fly. It's what it, what it is, it's a design feature on the fly. Looks good there. All I'm saying is it looks good. That's all I'm saying for now. It looks good in there, like that. Cool. Now, what I'm trying to do on this one, to see if I can get it back the same length. Looks good. Awesome. Eh. Gonna get back. I'll poke it on here. To me, it seems a little bit long. That looks. That look good to you, sweetheart. Back up in there. Like we go this way. This way. I want to do. I want to. Looks good to straight, don't it? Tack it on there. See what happens. All I can do, that's all I can do is tack it on and go from there. I'm just going to stand back and take a look at it. So I'm just going to tack it on either corner. Hope I weld that in there. I'll put a lot of weld on that. I'll put a lot of weld on that. And the reason I'll put a lot of weld on that is so I can buff that off and make it look nice. If you go to the other side, you can't even tell that piece is welded on there. Because we put enough material. You want to look at it? 
if you go to the other side, well done, sweetheart. She jumped the wire as she's doing a camera, boys. She jumped the wire as she's doing a camera. You can tell that you cannot see where we welded the 1 8th plate on because we filled it full of weld. You can see right there, like that's, a, you know, a site of welding, but that could be the top piece or whatever, but you can tell how we welded that on there and flush that off so you could not tell. So, so when you see the other side here, you really have to recognize how I've pulled the metal back and put a lot of weld there so we can, we can grind it off to make it look like something. So sometimes you really have to, you know, you know, sometimes people, you know, well, wow, that, that welding looks terrible. Well, sometimes the welding is done to make it look better when you grind it, because you know you're going to grind it. You can see that edge there. I could spend a bunch of time trying to flatten it off, flatten it off, flatten it off. But I can, now I can just MIG welder and put a bunch of weld there, grind it off. You never know it was there. Bob, your uncle, and Peter's your regular. And I don't mean to brag or boast, but I like hot butter on my breakfast toast. And that right there is butter. That's looking good looking good like that like that so now as I have it like that now's the time I make the two caps for it I'm just gonna make two caps real quick I'm not gonna weld them on just gonna make the cap so they look nice wow getting closer getting closer makes me happy makes me happy I have a pattern on the other side that Aiden made very precise pattern because I used it where did I set that again did I lose that again did I lose it again? No, I probably said it in there with the piece there. I move this out of the way so I don't trip myself. It's on the floor, honey. See it, sweetheart? Yeah, it's on the floor. Okay, cool. Thank you. Now, Aiden's pattern. Huh. Did I weld that on real wrong? Come on. I did too. Welded it on backwards. <laughs> I got the little bend out here and the big bend down there. <laughs> Come on, Chatty. Did too. It's got the big bend in the front, little bend in the back. Come on. I was all happy about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, I gotta take it like a gotta take it like it is. Only tacked, isn't it? it is only tacked, but I'm looking at it the way it is. I'm looking at it. There you go, just like that. Fast she went on, fast you gotta come off. One thing we know for sure, it'll fit, it, fit, it, fit either way. Yeah, it'll fit either way. Want it, darling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll fit either way. Green reflectors, check them out. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Simple mistake, simple fix. That's how I feel today. Simple mistake, simple fix. Turn it around, Chetty. There we go, turn it around. And then put it on. It's letting me sit down there nice, is it? All right, just making sure. Make sure that's in there tight. Ba, ba, ba. Just want to make sure it's on there tight. Alrighty. 
Yeah. You know what? As as I put these on here, as I put these on here, this part when I when I did the big roll, the big big roll here like that, it made the hinge bigger. You know what? I could have made the hinge look smaller by doing this one. You know, by doing that, it kind of makes there's a little difference going on there. And I, I really, yeah, it is what it is. But um, I am I enjoy the small bend there too, as the big one starting and the little one going. If you know what I'm trying to say. I enjoy it both ways by the looks of things. That's why I put it on that way, I guess. I think I could have left them on that way and no one would have noticed. But I would have noticed. You know what I'm trying to say? I would have known. I would have known the bigger bump in the front and the smaller one in the back. That's the way we're doing it. That's the way I'm doing it. It just seems to pop and when they got the inner coat in. See what we got like going on there now. <laughs> now we're looking like the other side. Now we're looking like the other side. I just want to see if they're straight up and down again. Yeah, look good to me. Cool. Shut that off. There we go. That's the piece that we may need. Just going to cut a little bit off this. Pair of scissors. Excuse me, sweetheart. Just going to check my mic. There's so many metal filings here. 
I'm just going to make a straight line to the end there now. I'm just going to make a new piece comes out here. I'm not going to chisel that out until I'm ready. So I lay it on there and put a piece on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple pieces of metal and make a couple of these real quick. Piece of metal right here. Beautiful. Just like you, Jolene. <laughs> Beautiful. Pick and choose your battles on this. What to cut with. You really do. You have to pick and choose your battles. What you want to cut a piece out with. And sometimes it's easy with this, and sometimes it's not. <laughs> Watch your toesies, baby. I'm going to get a hammer, flatten that out. sand that with a flapper wheel. Let me take a second. that weld back there a little bit you can see I got a lot of overhanging in there got to cut more off of that well that's not that's not the second I'm gonna make another one let's make another one looking for that straight edge there's one right there we'll take it we'll take it I don't know how straight it is but we'll take it Basically what I'm going for is a straight edge. Doesn't work, does it? It wants to. Can't make up its mind. Oh. Now remember, I can cut off all the black because that's the outside of the pattern. Right? I can cut off all the line on this if I want to. It's my party and I cry if I want to. And that's very true when you're building your own car. It's your car, you can do whatever you want to. And I call that freedom. fingers of those body hammers they have no forgiveness they do not <laughs> and they have a big head so they got lots of room to bite your fingers they really do I had a pair of pliers on that let's set this one on here cut this one cut this one to shape how about we do that 
I mark road again. That one work. I'm allowed to cut all that off, all that black, because I'm allowed. Because that's that's the outside of the pattern. course to getting that one and then we have one down for here do that thing that trick too we fit better down there I'm gonna have to be cut out Basically, want to get that. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna flatten this one out a little bit more. It's got a little, a little bend to it, a little crook to it. I want to straighten it out. Sorry, I didn't leave it there long enough for you. That'll be a top for that one. And then when we get the doors off, then when we get the doors off, and then we'll make the bottoms. That's basically the hinge right there. Happy about that, very happy with that. Looks like it's going in a straight line. Happy with that when they look from the front. I know we got a gap going on there, that's where you haul it down tight. But if you take a picture, if I'll move this magnet here for a second. If we focus our eyes on the hinges from the center of the Oh, don't want to lose that piece. Just wipe that aside like I didn't care. That's not true. I care. I care about you. I really do. Now, as I stand out here, this is where the visuals come in. As I get to take a look at it and see if the hinges look the same. Look good to me. And that's what matters, I guess. If it looks good or not. If it doesn't look good, then it matters. I mean, I'm happy with it. You can see how the chrome is going to come up. I got a marker right here. We drew that. The chrome is going to come up here like this, and then we're going to bring it around on the hood. We're on the chrome. We'll come up here, and then we'll run the chrome on the hood like this. When we get here, we'll we're going to 45 this off. So when the chrome, when the chrome runs, it runs up on that angle. This this part will be part of the truck. We still got to get that hinged in the center, but we're getting her one piece at a time. We still have to make a pat. Uh, uh, I don't know what you call that. Uh, for the bumper, the, yeah, it's a bumper package. I get. I don't know what you call that. Paint, that pan, bumper pan. It'll come to me maybe. But that has to be welded. Piece has to be welded up underneath there, all the way across to fill that in to put the grill in. That piece might have to be made. We'll have to make something on that because we've got different headlights on it. We've brought it out further. Everybody says that the headlights are out too far. The headlights are out too far. The headlights are out too far. Let's let's do something for everybody. Let's do something. What have I got? Let's see how far the headlights are ahead of everything. Let's just check that out. Jolene can tell you exactly how far the headlights are out. Come take a look. That's the peak of the headlights. So we're two, two inches past 
the front. So it's not really that far ahead. If we're only two inches ahead of the, the middle of the grill, I say that's probably two to three inches. That's how far much we're ahead. That's not that much. When I put when I put this pan on, it sure does start to bring it around a little bit. In the matter, like in the fact that it closes it in a little bit and shows how the grill's going to sit in there. That's going to be cool. Mm. Get the grill sitting in there. Get the bumper on there. Going to show how really low it is. But we're getting closer, getting the doors done and getting the hinges done and getting all the door gaps right. And get, next, we'll be on to, well, just considering we got this kind of figured out now, we got things in place, the S it still has to be welded up. But now we'll be on to the firewall, the hood coming up and making those pieces, making the hood fit. And then I'm going to say it'll probably be to making the front fenders meet the quarter panels and finding out what we're going to do there. I don't know what we're going to do here yet because I have 75 Chev truck quarter panels on this car. Uh, did, the quarter panels were gone. I didn't know what to do. So I just sectioned a set of quarter, Chev truck quarter panels. Chev truck quarter panels. Yes, it is. Uh, exactly. Uh, they're in that room right there. Joey wants to turn around. These are the quarter panel or this is the quarter panel that I used on this but what i did is i had to section it to make it work cut it in half take a piece out of it that's why i've got this fairing down here and that's why i've got this shape down here it's bent because it got bent i'll have to fix it but i'm what i'm thinking i'm going to do is i might take one of the this or this and i'll be planting it on the front fender and connecting them together with a piece of see you can see how this has got a square look to it here got a square look it's got a square edge here or up front has a square edge right here and it comes down past the sill I was trying to make the car look lower than it really is and still have a good ride height but I was going to take square tubing three-quarter inch connect it in there to keep my body line and run it up to the front fender and have the flare out here and run that out and then run the piece of metal from that up to the sill so maybe if I wanted to put a leg pipe in there, I could French it or I could just leave it the way it is. But I'm thinking I like to have a little concave action going on here with that body line to make the truck look lower than it really is. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments and all the interest is going good. I can't wait to get out and sandblast this thing, but I really have to I have to stay at it. I really do. I have to stay at it. I have to stay at it. And if I do not, um, you, you will know that I won't finish it, but I've got to stay at it to get done what I want to get done. And satisfy me is to get it sandblasted. I want to get it sandblasted to rejuvenate myself to get it done. When, yeah, we'll see. Let's go give away a hat or a shirt. I want to thank everybody for their comments and their likes and their shares and all that sort of stuff. If you like this page, share it, please. Um, sooner that we hit the 100, uh, then we can... Have a big cheers to everybody. We hit 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> a little sugar in you. A little Pepsi in you. Put a little pep in my step. That's what I need on days like today. Woo. She's, she's, uh, feel, it feels like I'm melting. I know I said that yesterday probably, but it's true. Fixed the lawnmower on the tire and the lawnmower tractor this morning, didn't we, baby? Yeah. Huh? Sure did. We did so. We went and got a tube for it, broke it down, and uh, put a new tube in it. Now we're Jolene will be able to work this afternoon and all night. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What's wrong with that idea? Mm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll probably call her in before it gets dark. <laughs> I'll need supper. <laughs> I can make my own supper, boys, can't I? Yeah, right. I can make my own supper. 537 comments thank you very much youtube crowd thank you very much uh facebook they got a hat or giveaway the other day that was good there was a lot of comments there they deserve a, a giveaway mm -hmm. and we should start doing that giving them something too probably the people that comment on the facebook page or the mm -hmm. uh yeah anyways here we go start ron kelderman to do, to, uh, today brought you some problems, but nothing you could not overcome. Not you could be overcome. My dad always said, 
Never hurry on Mondays and Fridays, especially on Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of, I did have some problems yesterday, cutting it off and putting it back on. I just wasn't satisfied. And like I said, on this one here, I didn't uh, do it the exact same way I did the other door. On this one here, I tacked it shut on the top. I didn't want to take it off and on. I just wanted to build the hinge right there. And it kind of hindered me a bit because I could not clamp the hinge on the post to keep it where I wanted it, to eye it up to make sure it were, were, where it was at. I was trying to get faster than I was on the other side by tacking the door shut and making the hinge right on the door and being done with trying to take it off and on and off and on. Didn't want to do that. But it bit me nasser a couple times. You see me t cut it back off, but I had to do it. I couldn't just leave it. And it did cause me some problems. It's hot and I'm going for it. And uh, you'll never make mistakes if you don't do anything. Have a good one, everybody.